family, the students, faculty, staff, and the entire Catonsville community um, in reference to everything that, that's occurred this afternoon. So right now I have very preliminary information. As you can understand, we are in the beginning phases of this extensive investigation. I'm going to provide the information that I have. Uh, we will continue to update as we can with information that will get provided and, and pushed out to you as we're able to. So at approximately three o'clock this afternoon, which was about 45 minutes after dismissal time here at Catonsville High School, our school resource officer on campus made a notification in reference to a shooting that had occurred outside of and to the rear of the school in the rear parking lot. The victim was identified as a Catonsville High School student and that individual was transported to a local trauma center for treatment. Out of an abundance of caution, Baltimore County police officers went into Catonsville High School and cleared the high school just to ensure, again, out of an abundance of caution, despite this incident occurring outside, that there were no threats inside of the school, and they cleared that school. Our police department, along with the Baltimore County Public Schools, have worked closely together collaboratively to set up reunification to get parents back together with students that has been ongoing and we will continue to do that right now our investigators remain on scene right now conducting their investigation and we will again continue to provide updates at this time what i am asking is if anyone has any information in reference to this incident for them to contact the baltimore county police department at 410-307-2020. Again, that's 410-307-2020. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you know, this morning, like thousands of other Baltimore County families, I sent my daughter to school here in Baltimore County. and. I join the chief in sending my thoughts and prayers to the victim in this case, uh, the victim's family, and the entire Catonsville school community. Uh, I want everyone to know that uh, Baltimore County will be doing all that we can to support the police department in this investigation, and we are confident in their ability to thoroughly uh, investigate and, and bring this to resolution. And we will be doing all that we can to support our school system as they are there for our, our teachers and our students in the days ahead. So uh, with that, I'll turn things over to Dr. Williams for any additional comments. So good afternoon, everyone. Daryl <clears throat> Williams, superintendent. We're here to support the school. First, we want to give our thoughts and prayers to the, to the student and the family. We also want to thank Catonsville High School administration and the staff and the partnership with the Baltimore County Police. Uh, we are looking at supports for students tomorrow additional counselors, additional supports. If there are questions for our students that we have staff to be able to support them uh, as well as our staff. And so we're gonna be deploying our student services. Uh, we're working with our administration to provide that kind of support the day after this incident. Again, we wanna thank the collaboration with the Baltimore County Police and their investigation um, regarding this matter. Thank you. Now we'll take a few questions. Chief, can I just ask, do you know if the student was a part of the football team here? So right now you can understand um, this literally just occurred a short time ago. Uh, we wanted to get out and get in front of you to get some information out, but right now we're really limited in the information that we can confirm. Do you have a grade or an age for the student? Confirmed to be a student at Catonsville High School. A male student? That's all the information I have right now. We heard reports that there was a car seen fleeing the scene. Do you have any vehicle description we can get out there for you? Right now, again, um, this is very fluid and ongoing. Like I said, our investigators are still on scene. Uh, if and when we have information to push out to get some assistance from the public, we will absolutely do that. And uh, again, our media relations will be following up to push out information as soon as possible. Chief, I know it's preliminary, but can you tell us what led up to the shooting? Why the shooting? 
Well, yeah, so. that's that's part of our investigation. It's a great question. Uh, we're going to run out every lead. That's part of our investigation, uh, not only to figure out who's responsible and to bring them to justice. We are going to run this case out. Um, we will make an arrest in this case. Uh, it's just going to take some time. And again, you know, looking at motive and what led up to this is something that we're also interested in. Pardon my tardiness, but maybe you said it, but can you re confirm the condition of the student? So right now I can only tell you that the student is being treated at a local trauma center and uh, hopefully at some point later we'll be able to provide an update. I know we talked to some students, they said that they were told that the student was shot in the shoulder. What can you tell us about the injury? Again, right now uh, I can't confirm that and I'm sure you can understand that I don't want to put out information that I don't know to be accurate. As soon as we have information confirmed, we will push it out to you, I assure Does you. This look to, to be a targeted incident? Is there any danger to other students? Should be, they be Concern coming tomorrow. Right now, we are not looking at this as danger to other students. Again, um, part of the reason that we, we cleared the school, we wanted to get officers in the school. We're working very closely with Dr. Williams and the school system to make sure that we, um, just to bring people comfort, that we have heightened resources tomorrow. But again, at this time, um, we are not looking at this, that, that other individuals are still in danger. Last question. Aside Mr. County Executive. Anybody else heard or taken to the hospital? At this time, we don't have any information, but again, you know, this incident only happened a little while ago, so we'll continue to update on that. Can the county executive take a quick question really quickly? Uh, Mr. Know, county executive, often regarding has, safety at school, <coughs> this is another example or, that may concern some parents. What confidence or solace can you give parents in terms of safety at your schools in Baltimore County? I have every confidence that our police department and Baltimore County Public Schools is doing everything they can to ensure a safe learning environment each and every day. I have every confidence our police department will resolve this case and there will be arrest and arrest as the chief has said. And I have every confidence that between us and county government and the school system, all the resources Catonsville needs, they will get. So thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone.